a number of managers and members of cultural and charitable institutes in the holy city of Karbala, as well as Dar al-Quran al-Hakim Institute, a Quran establishment, and some top Quranic figures from different cities of Iraq met with the Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in the holy city of Qom and listened to his guidelines. After this meeting, the guests also met with Sayyid Hussein Shirazi. Then Sayyid Jafar Shirazi, the respected son of the late Ayatollah Sayyid Muhammad Shirazi, made a speech to them. Quran, as the last divine book, and the Prophet of Islam and his infallible household, as leaders appointed by the Almighty God, are the two sources that shape up the belief system of the Shia Muslims. The Speak community makes references to these two sources in order to lead its own way through the complications and deviations that inflict mankind. The Holy Quran is the only book that reflects the words of God and has been immune to any alteration and distortion. The verses of this holy book shed line on the truth of the creation and lead humanity to its salvation. However, to make a clear understanding of this holy book, the Prophet of Islam and his infallible household left great remarks and statements and explained these verses throughout their actions to the people of different ages. That is why the Shia Muslims believe that the Holy Quran and the Prophet's household serve as two wings that fly humanity to peace of salvation. The consideration of these two weighty things, the Holy Quran and the Prophet's household, can make a big difference in the correct understanding of Islam and its peaceful messages. Today, one can notice this big difference by witnessing the mass killings and the carnages all carried out by the name of Islam, although they are raised by personal interpretations. The Grand Shia Authority and Islamic leader, the eminent Ayatollah Shirazi, has also sharpened his emphasis on the importance of resorting to the Holy Quran and the peaceful culture of Prophet's household, peace be upon him, especially at this very critical time. In recent days, winners of several Quranic events from different cities of Iraq, as well as managers of Holy Karbala Charitable Institute and Dar al Quran Center, met with Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in his central office in the holy city of Qom. In this meeting, the visitors listened to the guidelines and advices from the eminent Ayatollah Shirazi. Then, Sayyid Jafar Shirazi, the respected son of the late Grand Jurist, Ayatollah Sayyid Muhammad Shirazi, welcomed these Quranic personalities and talked to them. In his speech, Sayyid Jafar Shirazi referred to chapter 25, verse 30 of Holy Quran and said, On the judgment day, the Holy Quran would complain to God about the people who did not follow its instructions. The Holy Quran is descended to be a guide to humanity in its times of hardship and difficulty. However, the people neglect the Quran and are plunged in evil and wickedness. The more a society approaches to the teachings of Quran, the more it would approach its salvation and prosperity. Sayyid Jafar Shirazi also added, the people should know that they lack the Holy Quran and the Prophet's household, and if they neglect them, they will suffer its damages because they would lose their way towards the good of this life and the afterlife. In the end, Sayyid Jafar Shirazi appreciated the great works of these Quranic figures from Iraq and called the Holy Quran the Prophet's household as the real needs of any society. After this speech by Sayyid Jafar Shirazi, the guest met with Sayyid Hussain Shirazi, the respected son of the Grand Jurist, Ayatollah Sayyid Sadiq Shirazi, and gave reports of their activities. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah, Rabbi Alameen, wa salatu wa salam ala ashraf al-anbiya wa al-mursaleen, Muhammad wa ali, al-tayibin al-tahirin. We established the Dar al-Quran Center in the 80s. After the late Ayatollah Sayyid Muhammad Shirazi, may his soul rest in peace, advised us to do so. From the very beginning, this center started its organized and coherent activities with regards to Quranic sciences, including the memorization of this holy book and its recitation. After the fall of the Iraqi dictator, this Quranic center moved to Iraq and resumed its works, which were supervised by Karbala Charity Organization. During the holy month of Ramadan, we have Quranic events underway in six big cities of Iraq. Dar al Quran Center also holds Quranic contests throughout the year in its headquarters in Karbala city and its other branches in other cities. Winners and top participants in these contests receive valuable gifts and free trips to Mashhad city in Iran. Thank God that this procedure is under on each year in different cities of Iraq. Managers and members of Dar al Quran Center make yearly visits to Qom city and meet with Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Sadiq Shirazi to listen to the Grand Jurist's words. Al Quran the Holy Quran is a set of orders and instructions for all people so that their lives get fixed on the right path. There are many lessons in each part of the Holy Quran for the people to lead a good and prosperous life. That's why everyone should learn this holy book and teach it to others. 
everyone should implement Quranic lessons in their lives. According to the narration, the best of you people is the one who learns Quran and teaches it to others. After meeting with Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in his central office, His Eminence encouraged us to increase our activities and programs. I am sure that these words will be very influential to our institute. In addition, the Grand Ayatollah Shirazi asked us to make use of the Quranic lessons in our personal and social lives. At the end, I thank the Grand Ayatollah Shirazi, the members of the Grand Jurist Office, and the managers of Karbala Charity Institute, especially Sheikh Jamal Wakil, for this great trip. قال الرسول الأكرم محمد صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم إني تارك فيكم الثقلين. The Holy Prophet of Islam says, I leave among you two weighty things, the Book of God and my household, the Ahl Bayt. As long as you stand by them, you will never lose your way. Dar al-Quran Center has been successful in getting the youth familiar with the Holy Quran. With the valuable words of the Grand Ayatollah Shirazi and the tireless efforts of the managers of the center, there are many young people who are attracted to different Quranic events. <laughs> The Holy Prophet of Islam is quoted saying, I leave among you two weighty things, the Book of God and my household, the Ahl Bayt. As long as you stand by them, you will never lose your way. That's why the Shia Muslims follow the Holy Quran and the infallible Ahl Bayt, peace be upon them all. Many young people take part in Quranic contests held by Dar al-Quran Center. We also see that the precious recommendations of the eminent Ayatollah Shuwazi have resulted in our works and programs to expand day by day. In addition, after the grand jury's call for fighting ISIS, many of our young members joined the battlefields to push back the enemies. I pray to God Almighty to make the religious leaders like Ayatollah Shuwazi steady in their way of serving Islam. Alhamdulillah, <laughs> I thank the Lord for the invaluable opportunity that I could pay a visit to the sacred shrine of Lady Masuma, peace be upon her. After this visitation, and as a part of our programs, we met with the Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in his central office in the holy city of Qum. The contemporary history of Shia Islam is full of examples where the Islam leadership stood against oppressive powers and rescued the societies. The revolution of 1920 in Iraq is a good example of it. And then the great Ayatollah Sheikh Muhammad Taghish Wazi made a critical decision and released the Iraqi nation from the biggest colonialist power of the time, the Great Britain. Today, the Islam leadership is following the same stream and invited all people to defend their country against the ISIS terrorists. The Islam leadership always plays an important role in the society because they're respected as representatives of the Holy Ahlul Bayt. <laughs> Karbala Charity Organization runs several Quranic contests and events which occur in different cities of Iraq such as Karbala, Baghdad, Amara and Nasiriyah. We all appreciate the efforts of instructors and teachers at Dar al-Quran Center who attract the youth to Quranic activities and organize such Quranic contests. Of course we should know that reading the Quran is not enough and everyone should contemplate about the deep verses of this holy book. Dar al-Quran Center has always been emphatic on teaching the people about the interpretations of the Holy Quran which are obtained through the words of the pure Ahlul Bayt. In the end, I thank the Grand Ayatollah Shirazi, the managers of Karbala Charity Organization and the Dar al-Quran administrators who spend their efforts in the way of familiarizing people with the Holy Quran. <laughs> Thank God, it is my fourth year at Darul Quran Center. All the participants in Quranic events by this center are from cities of Karbala, Najaf, Qadisiya, Maysan, Baghdad, Babel, and Diqar. In these events, the participants take courses of recitation and interpretation of the Holy Quran. Meanwhile, there are contests which are welcomed greatly by the enthusiasts. The winners of these contests receive different gifts, such as a free trip to cities of Mashhad and Qum and the shrines of Imam Rida and Lady Masuma, peace be upon them, in these cities. I would like to add this point that the Grand Ayatollah Shirazi has always been supporting such a Quranic events. In fact, the Shirazi family have been an old supporter of these programs, and I pray to God Almighty to help them in their way.